In today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert a submit button on an Excel spreadsheet that when users click it, it will automatically open up an email using Microsoft Outlook that will attach the spreadsheet that users can send back to you. I have a very similar video on my channel. It shows you how to do this using Microsoft Word. So the code that we're going to use today to do this in Excel is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to paste the VBA code that we're going to be using in the description below this video. Simply click show more to expand the description and you'll be able to see the code. I also have this particular form available for purchase. If you want to purchase this particular form, I'll include a link in the description below the video. All right, so what we're going to do, since we're using VBA code, we're going to have to save our document as a macro enabled document. So you'll want to check with your IT department to make sure that you don't have any issues using uh, macros in your organization. But here we have an employee engagement survey form document that we've actually created in Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. And um, down here is where I want to place this submit button. You can call it whatever you want. You can name it. Um, I'm going to use submit, um, but you can name click here to email. Um, you can call it different things. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to come up um, in Microsoft Excel. We're going to come up to the developer tab. And on the developer tab, we're going to click design mode. And then we're going to come over here to insert. And under the ActiveX control section, uh, hover over and you'll see the command button. When you click that, you can come down into your document and actually draw your button. So you just use your mouse to click and drag and you can draw your command button. And then um, you can, once when you're in design mode, you can grab that button with your mouse and you can move it around and place it wherever you want to have the button. And then what we want to do is right click on that command button and we're going to go up to look at properties first. And so the first thing we're going to do is look at the background color. There's um, a line here that says back color. And if you click on the drop down, you have a couple of different options to change the background color of that button. So I'm going to click this yellow one here. And then under the caption field, you have the option to name this button something different. So this is where I'm going to name it or label it um, submit. All right, so now I'm going to close the properties and you'll notice that the color changed and my label for my button changed. The next thing we're gonna do is right click again within the button and click on view code. And this brings up the VBA editor within Microsoft Excel. And so what we're gonna do now is take a bit of VBA code and paste it into this module. You'll notice that we do have the sheet one selected. We have a couple of hidden sheets on this form. Um, and this is, but this is the form where we have the button on tab number one or sheet one, and this is where we wanna paste the code. So I'm gonna come over here where I have my VBA code and I'm gonna copy it and paste it in to the VBA editor. And I'm just going to start fresh and click paste. And so here we have pasted our code and I'm gonna show you a few areas that you're gonna to wanna to modify and change so that you can customize this for your own particular needs. So here we have um, where it says mail body, um, type the body of your email message here within these quotes. You can replace that, you can type whatever text you want to within those quote marks and that's how you can modify that. Also, we have, um, you'll see this VB new line um, where it will place a new line of text and within those quotes, you can update that text as well. So use this if you want to, um, if you want a separate line of text and then again, another new line and another set of quotes where you can edit the text. So that'll give us three lines of text in our email body. Uh, if you just want one line, you can simply highlight these other two lines of code and delete them if you don't need them or if you don't want to use them. Then down here with the um, email to area, you're going to want to place your email address. So if you want the users to click on this button and have the email come back directly to you, you would put your email here. If there is a separate email inbox that you want all of these attachments to go to, you'll put that email address in the to line. As well, you have a line where you can carbon copy or blind copy. You would simply come within those quotations and put the appropriate 
separate email in there. You can update the subject as well. You can create your own subject for the email and you would just place that within the quotes. All right, so now what I've done is I have saved my document already. It's already saved as a macro enabled document. So all I have to do now is come up here and click on save and I can close out of my VBA editor here. Um, I'm just gonna come up here quickly and show you that I have um, saved this document, as you can see, as an Excel macro-enabled workbook. So if you haven't done that yet to your document, you'll be prompted to do that. And all you have to do is come down here and select the macro-enabled workbook and save your Excel spreadsheet um, in this format, this file format. All right, so I'm gonna go back. And now we've programmed the submit button. So what I'm gonna do is come up to the developer tab and turn off the design mode now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, all I have to do now is send the spreadsheet out to my users. Um, they can go ahead and fill in the spreadsheet as appropriate and then they'll click on submit. And when I click on submit, it's going to open up an email in Microsoft Outlook. So you do have to have, your users will have to have Microsoft Outlook as your default email client in order for this to work, because that's part of the VBA code. But it'll open up an email automatically, and as you recall in our VBA code, the two email addresses right here automatically, our subject is here automatically, and then the three lines in our body of our email automatically show up here. All the user has to do now is click send, and this attachment will go back to you. If if we open up the attachment, we'll see that it has the information that the user filled in and submitted. And so you'll get that attachment emailed back to you. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.